But we might start with perhaps the biggest thing we've learnt. Nathan? Uh, I think for me, like, like definitely coming into teaching, my biggest anxiety was around how to like manage your classroom. And I think in term one, like what's most different now to term one was I thought if the class is kind of out of control, like it's my job to make them do what I want them to do. Mm -hmm. But I very slowly learned that really, um, at the end of the day, what the students do at their choices and really I'm just kind of I kind of see it like I'm systems engineering a room yes <laughs> and trying to set it up in a way that they make good choices and at the end of the day if there's a day where they make really bad choices I try not to say that's on me because at the end of the day it's their choices that they're making and I've just spent the whole year experimenting with ideas that maximizes the chance that they're going to make better choices mm -hmm. and, and I think that helped a lot because one of my, like my year nine class in term one was so hard like mm. like they were all triggering each other and my instinct was to say like this is like this is on me like mm -hmm. I, I have to take these like 15 kids who all have their own issues and like make them be quiet and, and all that and now like now they are quiet and they're chill and they help each other, but um, it took so much, like just trial and error, like mm -hmm. trying things and seeing what works, and then adapting. Mm -hmm. and, and now, yeah, like next year, I'm not so worried about it as much as I was this year. Yeah. Wonderful, thank yeah. you. Could you say a little bit more about choices, Nathan, and your understanding um, of, of that house growing? I, I guess, uh, like related to the idea of choices is consequence, like what you yeah. just ben mentioned. So kind of what I, when I sound like systems engineering a, a space, what, what I mean is like I create rules, like very clear rules and, and make it very clear the consequences and make them very visible. Mm -hmm. And then it's really down to the students to choose whether they want to follow the rule or have the consequence. Mm -hmm. And like for me, um, what I found really helpful I, I noticed that students respond, something I wouldn't have expected because it would never work with adults, mm -hmm. but it does work with mm -hmm. students, is um, to visibly note down in a way that they can see every time they've broken one of my rules. Mm -hmm. So it took a while, but I eventually noticed that the things I was finding like counterproductive in the class could all be reduced to three simple rules which was don't talk out of turn like you can talk but just don't talk when you're not meant to mm -hmm. um, don't leave your seat without permission mm -hmm. and if you want to ask something or say something just put your hand up and wait quietly like I, I discovered if they all just did those three things like most of the shenanigans would disappear mm -hmm. so I kind of told them these are my three rules and every time you break them I'm going to just like note it down on my clipboard with the mm -hmm. tally and then I went through various iterations of like what the consequence would be. For a while it was your number of tally marks is how long you'd stay in the break with me. But when that just, you know, kids were getting like hundreds of tally marks. I'm like, well, we don't have that many minutes. And then I introduced, I, I, I was like doing some research and reading and like I kind of was coming to the conclusion that a lot of the students who were getting all these tally marks kind of, they're a bit dysregulated. It's not like they were deliberately doing these things, but they didn't have, I think, physical regulation. So I kind of brought in a skipping rope and I'm like, you can, if you can skip for a minute without tripping, all your marks are gone. Like oh, challenge. Oh, thank you. Challenge. That's and, clever. And none of them could. And, and But the mere act of trying, like they would try, they would go for like 15 seconds and yes. then go, let me try again, let me try again. Next thing you know, they've been skipping for like five minutes and like it just, Calms I think, out. regulate regulates yes. them in a way that they don't maybe instinctively know to do themselves. Yes. And so I noticed that was very helpful to the point now kids will ask, do you have your skipping rate? Oh, and really? I, yeah, just even just yesterday down. they were doing it um, in wow, some of the year 10s. Wow, wow. Like they know I have this skipping yeah. rate. Yeah, that's really um, innovative because it is, you know, a lot of the kids have 
um, in, in a new university yes. or you know yes. something. So that element, I've noticed that sometimes I'll bring out but a, a spiky squeegee ball, and some of the kids mm. now ask for that. Yeah, because yeah, Because yeah. it helps calm them down. Yes, totally. Mm. That that sort of whole physical element. Yeah, and, and so there was that. Um, I, I now have this kind of spinner wheel that seems to work, partly inspired by Laurie, but an idea where so fun. Yeah. you can get, like, if you break my rules, you get kind of negative tallies, but if you do what I, I, I expect, like your, your textbook work and you finish it, you mm -hmm. get a positive tally, and they all go on this wheel where the more tallies you get, the bigger your name is on the wheel. Oh. And then once a week yep. it's spun, and then if you get spun up, you'll either get a, a positive communication to your parents saying how great you've been doing yeah. or a kind of, these are my rules, you know, yeah. they're not being met, you know, ah. um, kind of thing. And I found that kind of carrot and sticker, as I call it, approach, like both sides of the incentive, at least one or both of them work for everybody. Like some okay. are more incentivized by the carrot, mm -hmm. some by the stick, many by both. And, okay. and that... That's had a noticeable impact too. Yeah. Mostly with my year sevens, I noticed. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And because then you have that reputation too, mm -hmm. don't you, for, for the older years? Yeah. You know. I think so. But the kids ask for it. They're like, "Are we spinning the wheel today?" <laughs> they love the wheel. Like, they love this wheel. I'm like, I would not have picked that in a million years. They love the, I love the wheel. So tell us more.